G'day everyone, Daniel Anderson here, and we're gonna take a look at approvals in Microsoft Teams, the new app that's rolling out to tenants currently, uh, if not already in yours, will be there very, very shortly. Now, once the approvals app has been added uh, to your Microsoft Teams environment, you're going to be able to allow your users to be able to create approval requests, approve or reject uh, any requests that have been submitted to them, but also track and manage all the approvals from a single location inside of Microsoft Teams. Now the approval cards that come through uh, into Teams from these requests are also gonna be uh, show you a timeline so you can see where things are at, what actions have been taken and give you a really good overview of the process. So let's dive in and have a look at the experience that uh, users will get uh, through this new application. So. We can see here, I'm logged in as Alex, I'm inside Teams, I'm in the browser. Now the first thing we need to do is actually add the approvals app to Microsoft Teams. So I'm gonna click the three little dots and I'm going to click on the in the search box and let's search for approvals. And we can see here with the purple icon, we've got the approvals app. So let's go ahead and add that to Teams now. And you can see there that it appears in the left hand rail. Now on the on, I'm just gonna pin this app to my rail now and you can see that if I've had any previous approvals uh, sitting there waiting for me or I've either, either sent some already uh, it might have been through a power automate flow or something like that then they will automatically appear here so you can see here that I've already sent one um, previously and that automatically appears for me so we've got two options the ones that I've received and the ones that I've sent. So let's go forward now and create a new basic simple uh, approval request. Let's say for a new employee agreement that I've been working on, I need to get an approval from my manager. So I'm gonna click new approval request. And the first thing we do, we're gonna name the request. And let's call it the new employee agreement. And let's now type in this approvers box we can type in single people or multiple people here. And when we choose or have multiple people, we can uh, toggle this switch where that means that we, uh, if we need to wait for a response from all the approvers or get the response from all the approvers, we can uh, toggle this on or off determine, uh, depending on, on the requirements. And we're now gonna put in a description. And let's just say, can you please review this before publishing? And that will appear in the card itself as well. Now, what you'll see here is that we can even upload or add an attachment. And you can add multiple attachments here. And I'm uploading this uh, from my computer. It's going to automatically grant access to, in this case, Megan, uh, to this document and give her the appropriate permissions. Now we can also have custom responses. So by default, you'll get approve or reject, but if you want some other buttons or some other options, then you can choose to use custom responses as well. Now in this case, I'm just going to leave it as the default and we'll see how that looks. I'm now going to send that across to Megan. So that approval request is now being created and I'm just gonna flick across now to Megan and let's have a look at the experience that she gets. So you can see that uh, the approvals app is already added to, uh, to her team's environment. You can see that she's already had a couple received. Now in the bottom right hand corner, what you'll notice here is that a little, uh, a little toast notification popped up to say that, I've, um, that she's got a new request. You'll also see that it appears in the activity feed. Now, when we open that up from the activity feed, it automatically opens up the card uh, for that particular approval. You can see that it's uh, the status that's been requested, the title, the information that we popped in the description, the attachments that, um, that Alex added, and you'll also see the timeline of where things are. And you'll see the buttons approve or reject. And what we'll do is we'll add a comment here 
and we might now approve this, uh, this request. So that's now been approved. And what we'll do now is we'll come back across to Alex. Now let's have a look uh, at his, uh, his view here. You can see bottom right hand corner, the final status has now been approved. Um, and also I've got that appearing in my activity feed or Alex's activity feed. And you can see now that that has been approved. So an easy, simple process there for Alex to be able to, uh, to get an approval for that particular document. Not only can we start approvals from the approvals app, we can also start approvals directly from a conversation with a colleague. So you can see here that I'm logged in as Alex still. Um, I'm in a conversation with Megan and I, let's say I need to get uh, an approval on a home loan application for a client before I send it. So you can see in the message uh, in the chat box down the bottom, we've now got an approvals button or icon. So I can click this icon here and it's going to present this uh, this form for me as well. So let's have a look and, and send this across. Uh, let's go, can you review this application? And let's just pop in the surname and we'll pop Megan in as the approver again. And let's add an attachment. This time, uh, let's add a PDF. And we've added that. Now, what we're gonna do is add some custom responses. So I'm gonna flick the custom responses on here. Um, what I might do is go yes and no this time instead of approve or reject. So let's now send that across to Megan. And what that's now going to do is it's actually gonna post a card in that chat. So you can see here that I've got one uh, that I previously did that's already been completed. Now, the one here is in a requested state and that's the one I've just done. So let's now flick across to Megan and you can see that Megan has also now um, received a card here uh, for this latest request. I can access the document uh, and I can also view the details of this. So now let's jump in and have a look at the details and it's gonna open up this dialogue box, box about this request. So we can see, here's the title, here's the attachment, here's the status and the timeline, and here's my custom buttons of yes or no. Now let's click yes, we will approve this, and you'll see dynamically that this card will be updated. It's now been approved, we've selected yes, Let's flick back over to Alex, and you can see his card here has been updated as well, and you can see that I'll get a notification about that final status also. So another great way where you can initiate an approval process directly from a chat message. Now, if I jump into the approval section here, you'll also see that these um, also appear in the approval center as well. Now, one of the great, uh, another great thing about this app is that once it's been added, it, you can also do this on the fly from your mobile device. So let's now jump into, uh, on my mobile device, I will now log in as Megan. And what we're going to do is we might initiate a, an approval process, but this time we'll go back to Alex. So I've just clicked on the approvals app Let's now create a new approval and we'll send that across to Alex. And let's uh, go, can we spend 100 on swag? Let's now add Alex as the approver this time. And I'll leave everything as default and let's now send that across to Alex. So Alex is now going to get uh, a notification that Megan has uh, sent an approval request. You can see in the bottom right hand corner there that uh, that, uh, that has now come through. It appears in, in uh, Alex's activity feed and what happens now is that uh, Megan will then, let's reject this one. So let's reject it. And that notification will also come through back to Megan 
on her uh, on her mobile device. You can see that that's now appeared on the on the phone, and that has been rejected. Okay, so not only can we uh, use the uh, the Teams application on your desktop, but also a great um, a great piece of functionality is that we can do that directly from your mobile device as well. So we can do that on the on the go. So there we have it. Microsoft uh, the approvals application inside of Microsoft Teams is going to uh, really give some great uh, functionality for those simple and basic approvals, especially for those end work end uh, frontline workers, uh, even office staff and things like that, where um, there, there doesn't need to be a really big complex process, but a nice simple easy approval that needs to be sought or had. Hope that brings you some value. Thanks for watching. See you next time.